All right, so this is the Lynx Jewel Motor Resurrected. Um, a fellow named Dean gave me some ideas on um, changing the wiring a little, so I've followed his diagram exactly. Um, just a couple modest changes. One of the biggest changes got rid of that uh, that cam on the back of the, the motor that was um, making it shake so much. So I got rid of that, and I replaced it with a little... Um, it's like a little magnetic uh, reed. Um, I'd rather use a Hall Effect, just didn't have one. Anyway, this works pretty well. So first thing we're going to do is look at the uh, voltage on the 12 volt battery, see so what the voltage is at start, and then we'll run it a little. I want to show you the voltage on the AC coming off the secondary. It's the um, the finer wires. The secondary is 300 turns. Um, the drive uh, wire is the green wire. I believe that's 120 turns. All right, there's our start voltage, 13.9 um, volts. All right, so now this is going to be the AC coming off the uh, secondary coil. So the first, uh, the primary coil fires, drives the motor over. There's a flyback voltage, goes through the secondary, and then there's um, basically eight pulses per rotation on both of these coils, some of which is the AC. And, um, it's designed to feed back to the battery or back into the circuit. So we're going to go ahead and start it. The motor's running. You can see that AC is close to 10 volts RMS, so probably um, half again. Close to 15 volts are the peaks. So we're getting some of the peaks um, back feeding into the circuit. So one of the goals is to get this engine to run, or this motor to run, on less power than it normally would. Okay, that's voltage on the battery after about five minutes of running. Now we're going to run it and just kind of watch the voltage. I wanted to show you the AC off the secondary, just with a hand flip. That's with the secondary disconnected. I'm going to connect it. And this is if I just uh, run both coils in series, so they're firing at the same time. Um, the motor's quiet, it's not running as fast, not as high torque, but it's pulling oh, a little less than 100 milliamps. So that's about, about one watt. 